What's up, everybody, and welcome to Clown Live, an unorthodox start, but just give me a moment to check that everything is running fluidly, okay? I am your host, Dragon Blaker. Welcome to this very, very crazy kind of episode of Clown Live. We are underway right now, and uh, just give me a minute here. Live. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, Nate. I see you here as well. Mrs. Dragon Blogger, thank you for joining today's show. Yeah, what a kind of impromptu thing. You know, what we did is we showed this. We show this. Show one of these. I got a couple of them. We put it up for maybe not even 10 seconds just to understand that I am live. And then I'll hit go live, right? Uh, as soon as I know that I'm sending data successfully, I get the prompt to go live. I'll go live, and then as soon as my chat loads, that's when I'll start playing my one minute and 46 second intro song. Uh, and then when that song is over, like really, it doesn't take me more than like 15 seconds seems like an infinite amount of time, you know what I mean, for me to unmute and, and show my uh, follow, my follow thing here. So yeah, how strange. It was a very standard intro for today's show. And then uh, we did the Jabba John. We talked back and forth a little bit. And then I started the products. I've actually got my uh, Soundcore Motion Boom Plus uh, here because we were talking about it. And I had it strapped around my waist. I was like right in the middle of the product. And then I was greeted with a termination to my stream on the creator app side of things. And then I had uh, such a misunderstanding of how the app worked and I seem to have been unable to clone my show successfully and I manually punched in all of the items that we were going to show in today's show and I must have hit an x or a back button or something and all of that like 10 minutes of entering like 22 different ASINs manually just like was completely gone and then I went back today's to today's show it didn't have the ability for me to preview the show and it only had the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus in the carousel. So I, I hit the copy button. But after I hit the copy button, I didn't know what to do next. So I got a little bit lost in the sauce there. But we're back on track. And I just want to say thank you very, very kindly to you, Nate, for helping me out in my tragic time of need. And um, as well to Justin and Mrs. Dragon Blogger for being there for me. Uh, yeah, but it seems like we're back on track. So we'll have to just experiment tomorrow with the video intro again. I don't see how it could be an issue because I've used the same intro forever. All right. Let me rehydrate with a couple of grapes. I got a whole bag here. Let me put them in the fridge and then we're going to start today's show. Okay, great. Now, here we are in the realm of Amazon Live. Excuse me. <clears throat> are you with me? Let's start today's show. What's up, everybody, and welcome to Clown Live. It is Wednesday. It is almost 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and you are watching, like I just said, clown live i am your host dragon blaker you can call me blake and you are watching an amazon live interactive shopping experience presented by shopping dragons all right now with all of that out of the way all the formal intro let's start today's show nate thank you again for helping me travel diva hello to you thank you for joining the show today hopefully you will have some time to stick around and maybe chat a little bit now, without further ado, let's get into today's show. We've got an entire table full of products that we need to address today, and we're going to do it in two hours. Are you ready? Let's start. Okay, the first product that we're going to take a look at here. Oh, before we get started talking about the product, let's bring in our product camera. And that's just going to take me a fast second, okay, because uh, I was so interested in just trying to go live that I didn't get my entire stream set up. So this will take but a moment, please uh, bear with me. And we just switch to this camera and add it to today's show. 
like this. Boom. Okay, most excellent. And then we switch to this tab. <clears throat> awesome. This is kind of sitting off kilter, isn't it? All right, let's get today's show really happening right now. I got some kind of grape seed stems here. Let's put those up here for now. And uh, boom. Okay, let's do it. Follow me. Awesome. Here we go. This is the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus. This is a really great 80 watt Bluetooth, uh, excuse me, this is a really great 80 watt Bluetooth speaker that is IP67 water resistant. Now with that 80 watts, you're going to get two 30 watt drivers as well as two 10 watt tweeters, the Motion Boom Plus. It also features passive bass radiating speakers on each side of the device. So these move when these move. Uh, you can actually toggle extra bass. The Soundcore Motion Boom Plus is Party 2.0 compliant, which allows it to pair with up to 99 additional Party 2.0, Party Cast, excuse me, Party Cast 2.0 compliant devices. That's really fresh. Uh, this is super light and has a strap that makes it easy to wear and remain hands-free while being the life of the party, all right? The Motion Boom Plus offers 20 hours of playback under ideal conditions and has an equalizer that is adjustable in the Soundcore app that's downloadable for free in Google and iOS stores. All right, now the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus is available to add to your cart today for $180 and has a four and a half star rating with just over 3,300 reviews. Excuse me. Okay, ate some grapes. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right, now that is the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus. What a great, great product this is you know i got a bunch of bluetooth speakers and i would say that if i was going somewhere where i wanted to take my music with me like uh like this is great for the beach this is so great for the beach because it's so light and like i said before it's ip67 water resistant so that makes like a little bit of dirt or some water splashing completely non-issue with the motion boom plus uh, okay now on the back of the motion boom plus there is this little rubber door okay and when we open this it has a usb c port for charging the device it also features a usb a port for charging out and it has a three and a half millimeter audio jack in so that even if you don't connect to it via bluetooth you can still connect to it via a hard line so what a great uh, option that is, you know, to keep the party going, whether it's via Bluetooth or hardline, uh, you can do that with the Motion Boom Plus. All right, $180 today, not too bad. Uh, I've got one, I like it a lot. I've got some other uh, Bluetooth speakers that I think do certainly outperform the Motion Boom Plus as far as sound is concerned, but the trade off. Uh, for the 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 weight of the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus is like bar none, bar none. Uh, like if I if I got the option to take something portable, am I gonna take like where does that micro? I don't know. I got so many products. I mean, anyway, I've got a small speaker, the uh, Tribit Storm Micro, okay? And that's a really nice little portable speaker that is super light, and albeit lighter than this because it's a tiny little portable Bluetooth speaker. But this is just, it's so light. And it's two solid, um, two solid pieces of plastic that are held together with a very thick and high-quality gasket. The carabiners on the straps uh, hook into loops that are on the molded in handle. So it's just a really, really solid device. All right, now let's keep it moving here. We're gonna talk about our next product in our carousel. And this is going to be the Obsbot Tiny PTZ 4K. All right, we got this one over here. No. Look, we're gonna put the sound core over here today. because We got a lot of products and we gotta dig through some of them to get to some of them. We are gonna talk Obsbot next. I've got that one right here, okay? <clears throat> All right, so this is the box for the Obsbot Tiny PTZ 4K resolution webcam. It's available today for $179, which is actually a pretty phenomenal deal. It's 33% off, making it $100 
um, off basically of its $270 average retail value. Did I say $100 off? Sorry, I meant like 90 bucks. Please forgive me for uh, poor math. Okay, the Obsbot Tiny PTZ is a 4K resolution, like I said, and I am broadcasting my show today to you from it, right? It comes with this nice little box, and this is what the camera looks like on the box here. It sits on a gimbal and has the ability to pan, tilt, and zoom. Now, you can control those features manually, but the Obsbot also features the ability to uh, follow you around the room. Now, we are experiencing that right now. The Obsbot is I'm kind of trapped behind some tables, but you can see the Obsbot is definitely working at focusing on keeping me in the middle of the frame. Now, I actually have my settings to keep my whole body in the frame. You can have settings that just keep your face centered. It's going to give you a little more head height if you need that. And um, <clears throat> yeah, the way that you activate this following feature is to hold your hand up in front of the Obsbot like you're waving to it. Now that the Obsbot has recognized my gesture, it no longer follows me around the room, which is pretty, pretty cool. I really love this feature. Sometimes I just want to be seen here and hold things in front of my, my chest or my face. And I don't want the Obsbot to be like trying to follow me if I hide my face, right? So it's really easy to turn it on and off on the fly. Now, another feature that is the same thing, just holding up a, um, like a, a gesture with your hand. Uh, sometimes I can't get it to work the best. So we're going to try it now. Uh, let me stand in front of the TV and hold up an L. Yeah, see, when there's contrast, I've got some really, really bright white skin right now from not being tanned all winter. And I do, oh, let's follow. Yeah, and I find that uh, holding up the L gesture within right behind me, these these uh, pictures and these lights reflecting off of the glass, they don't always see my – see, I'm holding up the L shape right now, but it's like it's so busy around my fingers that the OBSBA is not even recognizing the gesture. But if I walk over to the television and try again, see, it recognizes that gesture instantly. So lighting definitely has some effect in, in how well your gestures are recognized. But those Zoom – gestures and follow feature gestures are built right into the OBSBOT as soon as you take it out of the box. But it, I implore that you download the firmware update, get the OBSBOT webcam software. It really opens up a whole plethora of options that you can utilize to control your OBSBOT even more, okay, in greater detail. And the OBSBOT software uh, is actually cool because if you have more than one OBSBOT camera, you have the ability to control all the different cameras uh, within that software itself. And that software has a bunch of global hotkeys. So it makes it super easy to set up like a bunch of OBSBOT cameras and then have all your shortcuts set up to a stream deck, select this camera, do this action, super, super fresh. All right. 33% uh, off today, $179 for the OBSBOT Tiny PTZ 4K. Now, one final thing that I'm going to say about it as I'm switching to my next product here uh, is this. If even the $179 um, price point might not be at your budget right today, I mean, it's a, still a really good deal if you can make it happen. And also, they do make the OBSBOT Tiny PTZ in a 1080p resolution. Now, I don't have that one in my carousel today, but I can confidently claim that under normal circumstances, uh, normal circumstances being no sales on the products, the 1080p resolution version of the OBSBOT PTZ uh, is always less than the 4K model. So if you're looking for a great camera that will track you around the room, absolutely consider the uh, OBSBOT Tiny PTZ. All right, now let's bring our product camera back in here and let's move on to our next product. And I'll tell you this about our next product, okay? I just thought that uh, by default, I'd bring the product table in, but I really don't need to. We're gonna show the product page for this one. But before we do, <clears throat> excuse me, before we do, I've got this little camera set up here. Let's do this. We'll do this again real quick. And then we'll just turn this uh, 180 degrees. Yeah. See if that's the right move. And 
Do one of these. I mean, yeah, that's as close as we're going to get to the right move. Okay, so let's take a quick look at this here now. You see me over in the product page camera. I just want to show to you that I do, in fact, oh, it's getting nice, but still cool outside. Oh, wow. So nice outside. I can't wait to do an outside show. All right, I just want to show you this big metal box, okay? This is the UV security smart drop, all right? Now, I do have one out here, so I just want to show you that I do have one on hand, but uh, the camera setup and blah, 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 and this and that, you know what I'm saying, makes it not ideal to show the UV security smart drop in action. So I just wanted to show you that I had it. Now, I'm gonna take a quick moment here to reposition my camera, and then we're gonna share the screen and talk about the UV security smart drop with a product page on hand. And by on hand, I mean on screen. All right, let's do a quick test of our product page here, uh, product camera, not too bad, not too bad, okay. Um, all right, now let us share screen for Eufy Smart Drop. Here we go. I just had to grab this product page. You know what? Uh, who made... It's only 50 seconds. All right, let's watch this Dragon Blogger video, actually, because I don't think I've ever seen this video. So let's present our screen for everyone to enjoy uh, with audio and hit share. Okay, great. Now let's switch to the view we like, remove the product camera, and then full screen this. No pin. And... Uh, Let's reset this video. Let me turn it down on my PC. All right, let's watch this video together. It's only a minute long. Let's check this out. It's the last time the master pin is used. You can just open. No pin is required. The downside is it doesn't tell you who delivered it. But you have a video of it. The second delivery after the first one will have to... Enter a full pin. Enter the pin code on the address label and press open. The pin on the label can be set to let you notify who you're expecting a package from. When you're ready to receive your packages, enter your master pin. It'll open up and you can retrieve your packages. This will also reset it so the next time open is pressed, the lid will be straight up for an easy package delivery. Yeah, definitely accurate with that. Uh, the UFI Security Smart Drop is a great box that offers sort of like a deterrent for porch pirates so if you're getting a lot of frequent deliveries even if you're not getting a lot of frequent deliveries and you just want to be mindful or a little more secure with the packages that you're receiving eufy security smart drop really great option it's available today for 400 dollars by guarantee when we click through i don't want to guarantee uh but yeah i'm right still with that applicable 200 dollars coupon so essentially 50% off today on the UV Security Smart Drop. What is great about it is that it does have that 1080p camera, so you can see what's going on. It also takes recordings of what's going on. You can set up a master pin as well as different user pins and have delivery drivers use those pins in order to access the box and put packages inside them. Now, it also has a little alarm built into it. My friend came here the other day and was shaking up my box and uh, and an alarm went off on it. So that was a really interesting uh, little thing. That was a little interesting uh, tidbit of information that I was not privy to. So that was cool. And to turn that alarm off, you just enter your four-digit code or your master, like, enter your master pin, excuse me. It's not always a four-digit code. Enter your master pin or one of your user pins to turn it off. And uh, now it does have the 1080p camera. Like I said, it also has a microphone so that you can communicate with the delivery person as well. So a really great device that is available for essentially 50% off and has a four and a half star review with 85 reviews. Now let's keep it moving here on our show today. Let us return to our product table. Okay. And with this product table, let's talk about 
the Asus Tough A15 gaming laptop. All right. Now, this is the box that that laptop comes in. And this laptop is available today for sub $1,000. It's available for $979 today. The Asus Tough A15 gaming laptop is pretty powerful. Okay. It features a Ryzen 7 4800 series CPU, an NVIDIA 3050 laptop GPU, 16 gigabytes of RAM, a half a terabyte SSD that is installed to an M1 slot. And the Asus Tough A15 also features an additional M1 slot so that you can put another SSD in there and get as much expansion as you need. Okay. To hold all of your favorite content on the laptop it is a gaming laptop so it does feature an rgb backlit keyboard and we got this laptop right here hey there we go can we go over a little bit more can you follow me i can't see the laptop anymore but i think you can so it does have a rgb backlit keyboard okay let's stand up a little bit here does have an RGB backlit keyboard, like I'm saying, and the WASD is white while the rest of the keyboard is in black. It features I.O. that is power cable, HDMI, Ethernet, two USB 3.0 port, a 3.2 gen ports, a USB-C port, and a multifunction microphone headphone jack as well as an sd card slot and a single usb 2.0 port on the adjacent side of the laptop it features a 15.6 inch 1080p resolution display at 144 hertz and has a 720p webcam baked into the bezel with a microphone array okay with a microphone array built into that bezel uh it doesn't get too hot it edits videos so fast. I've been editing videos, shoppable content, and it's just been a dream. It's been a dream how amazing. Uh, I used to make videos and they would render essentially in real time. Now I'm making like, I make shoppables lately. So I'm making like a two minute video. What would normally take two minutes to make. Now it takes me like less than 30 seconds to make. It's absolutely out of this world. Okay. So if you're looking to play some great games or do some video editing. The Asus Tough A15 gaming laptop is absolutely something worth considering. Uh, it's a great mid-level, I would say, laptop that has a sub $1,000 entry point. And uh, this is the 2021 model. I just want to be clear about that. All right. For $979, the Asus Tough A15 gaming laptop could be yours today. And uh, it has a four and a half star rating with 22 reviews. All right. Now let's talk about another product that I've been getting really, really close with over the weekend. And that is going to be this bad boy right here. All right. Now what this is, is the Mars 2 Pro. Okay. The Mars 2 Pro is a 720p DLP projector that is made by Anchor. Okay. Now this is the Nebula series of projectors by anchor and when we open this up we pull out a nice little foam here's the projector and uh, let's just pop this back in and close our box for the okay i put my foam in wrong of course isn't it funny how like you have to do it the right way or it just doesn't work all right, much easier. Okay, check this out, dude. This is the Mars 2 Pro 720p DLP projector by Anchor, the Nebula series of projectors. I was just saying that. This thing is pretty dope, okay? It has an HDMI and USB input. Here, let's stop following for a second. It has an HDMI and USB input on it and features an audio out jack and the ability to plug it into the wall for power and to charge it okay the mars 2 pro features a battery that lasts up to three hours of casting time and that is super great okay this thing i used it i went out to my friend's house for a couple of days and he has this really really huge um front window i mean i guess it might even be close to a similar size of mine but we broadcast it on his blind in his living room and we used it like every night for like three nights. We watched a blood sport on it. We watched a bunch of great YouTube videos. 
Hey, Jacob, what is up? Thank you for joining the show. We are just talking products like we've been doing. That's kind of what has been up here. And uh, how are you? Well, I was feeling super stressed out and I just felt like um, I felt like um, like stressed out, like cabin fever. You know what I mean? Like I just had enough of being inside with the winter. So I made a plan and I went out to my friend's house for a couple of days. I just went and just ha- kind of had a little retreat there. We just hung out and, and just did whatever we wanted. And uh, and that translates great into what I'm saying uh, about the products, because uh, one of the things that was really fun while I was there was, in fact, using this Nebula Mars 2 Pro projector. Like I was saying, now that you're here, it has it has. Um, 25 likes, 10,000 likes would look better. Um, Yeah, in regard to what? In regard to what? But the Mars 2 Pro, really great. Let me say it again. 720p DLP projector has two inputs, HDMI and USB on the back. And I was also saying that you can charge this with the, the included power adapter to charge the battery that's in it that offers up to three hours of video playback. You can mirror cast to this with your favorite device. It has Bluetooth built in so that you can connect it to your favorite speaker. It also has audio out. It features all the controls that you need on the top of the device and has lights at the top to indicate how much battery is left. Has a nice soft little soft carry grip handle to take it wherever you want. And rubber, I'm going to get your stream to 10,000 likes. I would love that. I would love that so much. Please do. You know what I mean? That would be so great. Okay. Uh, now, the Anchor Nebula Mars 2 Pro, okay, has this nice rubber uh, booty on the bottom to hold it at solidly on a flat, steady surface and has the ability to be mounted to a tripod. This thing is so great. You know, people are like, oh, 720p, blah, blah, blah. You know, the only problem... The only problem that I'd that I could maybe consider saying that I might have had with the projector is like honestly I would say maybe I was maybe like text on my desktop, you know what I mean? And even when I thought that it was out of focus, it just still looked really good even when I thought that it was out of focus. Now, here's something that is like maybe worth saying. We watched some new movies. They looked great, but we watched some old movies and they looked really great, right? Uh, Jason Shields, I'm with you, Jacob. Hey, thank you so much. What's up, Jason? Thank you for joining the show with me today. It's nice to see you guys out here hanging out. We were having some problems with the show today. Uh, I went live and then I got kind of like cut off for the... I don't even know. I don't even know. My live stream got cut off by Amazon. I never had that happen before. Took me a little bit of time to get back, but we're here. We're live. We've been live for maybe, I'd say, I don't know, 20 minutes or a half an hour. And uh, yeah, I can't stop talking about products to you guys, especially about this Mars 2 Pro, because I've been talking about it and I used it once or twice. Now I've used it like a half a dozen times. You know what I mean? And it gets better every time that I use it. I plug my laptop, my Asus Tough A15 gaming laptop into it. No problem. Now, things that I'm neglecting to mention about the Mars 2 Pro is that it features an Android 7.1 operating system and it has speakers built into it to offer incredible sound experience just out of the package. All right. So you get to download your favorite streaming apps. You can connect this over Wi-Fi, but you can't connect it uh, with an Ethernet cable. There's no there's no like place to plug a cable into it. So always, always must be uh, Wi-Fi connected, whatever. All right. Uh, great for indoors, great for outdoors, 7.1 Android operating system, three-hour battery life, DLP 720p projector. Uh, also, you can control it with the included remote control, the controls on the top of the device, or the free Nebula app by Anchor on your Google and Apple stores. All right, the outdoor projector is available today for $549. And the last time we talked about this, it also had a $50 coupon. Let's see if it does have that coupon now, okay? Oh, this takes me to my video. 
uh, 1,000 rate. Yes, $50 coupon. Absolutely. So you can get this 720p DLP projector today for $500 when you apply that clickable coupon. Okay. Um, what is next? The next thing that we're going to talk about here is going to be the Anchor Nebula capsule projector. Now, the capsule projector is also just a phenomenal little DLP projector. Uh, that is available today at a cheaper cost than the Mars 2 Pro. Hey, what's up, Jennifer Lude? How you doing? Yo, we're talking about projectors today. I hope that you're doing very well. Things have been uh, pretty good here. I've been telling people that I've been getting out of the house uh, over the weekend. Um, and it was great. It was great to just be away from the house for a couple days. But now here we are doing today's show. We started a little bit late again today. We were having a bit of an issue with the app once again today, but a different issue. We were we were able to go live, and then we got kind of like, um, uh, like our live stream got cut by Amazon for saying that I was like playing videos too long. But I was literally standing there talking about Motion Boom Plus in in real time. So I don't know. All right, but I hope that you're doing well, Jennifer Lude. If you've got some conversation to have, let's have it. I'd love to talk to you about anything that you like, uh, whether it's product-related or not. So I hope you're doing great. Feel free to chat me up a little bit uh, before you leave and go watch somebody else, okay? Um, yo, speaking of leaving and watching somebody else, we have been in kind of a decline with our followers recently. Uh, we peaked at around 2,886 followers, maybe maybe 87, maybe 87 followers. I can't remember. But uh, now, now we are like falling. We're falling down. We're falling down. We are at 2,862 followers today. And so we've been dropping. We've dropped. Uh, we've dropped significantly, like 22 followers in the last like 30 days or so. So that's not the funnest metric to report, but it is one that I'm noticing uh, as a frequenting trend on the app. So if you are watching this show now and you have the ability to share, please share the stream. Encourage your friends or your family uh, that Amazon Live is a really great community to be a part of. Um, and of, as always, of course, right. The follows that I'm seeking are certainly, a, a massive, massive help to our social media outreach here on Amazon. Okay. So let's get clown live. Let's get shopping dragons up to 3000 followers. I mean, Hey, 3000 followers would be great. We still are pretty close, but let's just get back up to the number that we were at. Instead of going down a follower every day, let's try to go up a follower a day. You know what I mean? One step back, two steps forward. You know what I'm saying? Let's figure that one out. All right. Now, thank you for letting me talk to you about how I'd love to see everybody following us here on Shopping Dragons. Let's drink some water and then continue today's show by talking about the Anchor Nebula Capsule Projector. <clears throat> All right, this is it here. Now, the Anchor Nebula capsule projector is really small, like a little capsule. But uh, more accurately, it's really small, like a soda can. Now, I don't really drink pop or anything in a can that I can compare it to. But you can see that uh, I'm no Andre the Giant, and my hand is really dwarfing the Nebula capsule. Now, this projector, similar to the Mars 2 Pro that we just looked at, features an Android 7.1 operating system. It also features a battery that allows you to have playback up to four hours. It features a full-size HDMI and mini USB input. It has an infrared blaster receiver. It has a dial to adjust the focus manually. And it has all of the buttons that you need on the top in order to operate this now also on the top that you can see that nebula logo in the middle in conjunction with the power multi-function button and volume controls on the top of this device this nebula insignia also lights up different colors to indicate different statuses it features a nice rubber booty on the bottom and the ability to be mounted to a tripod and has, I'm going to get to you right now, Jennifer, and has an 854 by 480 resolu uh, native resolution. 
Uh, and that's it. That's pretty much it. Let's set this down real quick. Let my brain rest. We'll see if we can remember anything else about the capsule. But Jennifer Lude in the chat says, I had to make a new account because it seems like every time Amazon does an update, I can't see certain streamers. They don't show me as live. It happened to your stream and three other streamers. That is crazy. Amazon um, as a platform has been like uh bumpy bumpy it's like awesome things happen and then you just like like things that aren't as perceivable as great you know occur and then it's like you know what i mean it's like let's just get a little stability on the app you know what i'm saying and uh let's get back on these deals pages let's get back on these product pages let's get everybody doing something big here on amazon let's pump it up let's pump up amazon live but they're not they're not they're just like well we're gonna do these things that people perceive as not great anyway <laughs> anyway i digress because um i'll tell you this if i had any actual inherent problems uh, I would just choose not to be here. You know what I mean? So we do have the ability to come and go as we please. And I am thankful very much for the platform that Amazon has provided us to stream and bring great deals to you guys as well. Um, and also, whatever. You know, I'm not the app developer, so whatever. All right. Now, the Anchor Nebula, as I was giving you that quick information about my opinion about Amazon currently... Um, I didn't think of anything new to say about this. So a really great small projector that you can have today for $250. And this is 17% off of its $300 average retail value. This is nice. This is so small. This is perfect for camping, perfect for traveling. You know what I mean? If you're just like doing something real quick and you want to watch uh, like a couple hours of content on a bigger screen, uh, you can do that with the capsule. Okay. Now click through the carousel too, all right, and learn more about other Nebula products because they make other versions of the capsule and uh, they make other great projectors as well. So if the Nebula capsule isn't quite what you think you're looking for, it, it's smaller than a soda can. Is it 2K? Is it um, smaller than a soda can? Is it, uh, is that true? I think it might be. I got to get an actual pop can, soda pop can and figure that out. But it is pretty small. You know, I'm holding it in my hands uh, very, very nicely. All right. Now, we got seven people watching. I just want to give a big thumbs up to everybody that's out here supporting Clown Live right now. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to unmute. Okay. Please feel free to unmute and follow on the show. Uh, these metrics are also really important. Okay. Unmuting metrics are real metrics. And we get understanding in the app of people that might be watching but are watching on mute. So you can like totally unmute the stream and then like turn it all the way down to like 1%. If you're watching other streams, just don't mute it. Just unmute it. You know what I'm saying? Unmute, unmute. Here we go. Try to point to the things above us. Unmute and follow. That's what we're trying to accomplish here. And uh, $15 clickable coupon on the Govi lights. That makes them like $85. Let's get into it right now. These are These Govi lights are actually a product that I bought in October during Prime Access early whatever deals. I forget the name of the event, but it was Prime Early Access in October. Now, what we get here with the Govi Outdoor String Lights, we're not going to plug them in today, but I'll tell you, if you want to see them plugged in, I will. Just speak up in the chat and let me know you'd like to see them. Now, the Govi Outdoor String Lights come in a box of 96 feet, a.k.a. Two 48-foot lengths of Govi Outdoor String Lights in the 96-feet version. The 96-foot version is available today for $100 with a $15 clickable coupon. And these lights are amazing because they serve you white light, yellow light, RGB light. That covers a gamut ranging over 16 million colors, okay? You have the ability to individually address any color you want to each of the lights with the Govi app. The Govi app also has different themes and scenes that are available for you to execute. They're included in the app by default. You can make your own themes and save them. You can join the Govi community, okay? And you can upload your favorite themes for other people to enjoy. And as such, you can download themes from that community 
and use them with your Govi lights. Now the Govi app is good whether you're using these outdoor string lights or whether you're using strip lights or TV lights. If Govi can control it with that app, then it will. Pardon me. All right. Uh, with four and a half stars, the Govi lights are having uh, 2,331 ratings. I just want to show you this real quick. I never realized until a while ago that these shatterproof, waterproof bulbs, they actually unscrew really easily from the housing, okay? I never knew that. I never knew that. So here's what you get. You get like 30 of these, you know what I mean, connected to each other with a light. So I really like that about the lights that you can unscrew them. I never realized that you could do that. Now, I don't think that you could replace the bulbs. I don't think that you can replace the LEDs. So I don't know exactly why. I'm sure they just didn't want to make it one unit, one one solid piece. I'm wildly speculating. Okay, the Govi outdoor string lights, though, are really amazing. And they're going to add the perfect ambiance to any event that you've got going on, whether it be some type of formal event or whether you just outside, I don't know, smoking a cigarette outside. You know what I mean? You can turn the lights on and look at them while you're enjoying some fresh air, a little bit of bad air. All right. Uh, once again, I want to remind you the price of these. Okay. And that's a hundred dollars with a $15 clickable coupon. Thank you, Jacob, for letting me know about that coupon. Okay. Now let's keep it moving here on the show. And we are going to talk about another uh, product here that is a webcam. And the webcam actually in question is this camera. It's this camera right here, our product table camera. Let me grab the box for this and bring it forward and show you uh, it, okay? And there it is there. Now, we are talking about this $10 clickable coupon on the webcam. Sweet. The Anchor PowerConf C200 is a really, really phenomenal webcam that is totally budget-friendly. It retails today for $60, but has a $10 clickable coupon that you can apply uh, when you navigate to the product page. And to do that, click through the carousel. All right. Now, four and a half stars with just over 1,900 reviews. The Anchor PowerConf C200 features a field of view ranging between 65 and 90 degrees and has a 2K resolution at 30 frames a second. It also features a dual microphone array. Okay, so power comp. You can use this kind of like in the type of conference setting. I really like the power comp C200. Uh, this is what it looks like. And uh, we can control the uh, thing here. Let's do this. Oh, reset. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then, uh, okay. Oh, there it is. There's that little cute little guy. There it is right there. This is the Anchor PowerConf C200. <clears throat> it's got that dual microphone array, like I was saying, one here and one on the other side. It also has a manual... Um, switch that when we close it, closes the shutter. And as you can see, it actually puts the camera to sleep, but it does not mute the microphones. Okay. But instead of just putting a shroud over the lens, it does put the camera to sleep and it's easy to switch that on by just opening that shroud again. The PowerConf C200 has a USB 3000 likes. Let's go. Let's go. Um, the PowerConf C200 has a USB-C connection on the back and comes with a USB-C to uh, USB cable included in the package, okay? The PowerConf C200 is my second best camera, I feel, for its size, for its resolution, and its ability to bring a great show to the table every time we use it. Uh, like I said, let me tell you about the price again, $59.99, okay? So $60 for the camera today with that $10 clickable coupon, uh, you can scoop this up for 50 bucks, And I think 50 bucks for a 2K webcam is uh, not too bad of a price point. All right, now let's keep it moving here. And we are going to talk about another product that I've got in my carousel to share with y'all. And this is going to be the UP Home Back H30. Now, I got this bad boy over here. Let me grab it. All right, let's take the base down. 
Okay, this is this. This is it. This is the Eufy by Anchor Home Vac H30 Portable Handheld Vacuum. It has a battery that is removable and replaceable, but it is also rechargeable when you slap it into the base. We're going to take a look at that in a minute. You don't slap it. You press it gently. It has a large dust bin with a filter that is washable, reusable, and replaceable, okay? And it has a power head accessory that turns the head when the power, which runs in eco or high mode, is activated. It's super easy to remove the dust bin by pressing the button on the top and pulling it off so that you can dump it out. And there's not too much else really to say about that, okay? Now, it comes with another accessory, and that accessory is going to be this crevice tool. Now the crevice tool has a retractable brush tool that when you pull it forward allows you to access with the brush and then you can retract it to reveal the crevice tool. Yo, what's up June? Thanks for popping out, man. Hey, I really appreciate seeing you here, man. It's so good to have some of the homies pop out here. We got Jacob here clicking like like a madman. We already got over 3000 likes on today's show. That's phenomenal. And uh, yeah, much clown love to you, June. What do you got going on, man? I know that we were talking a little bit uh, on Discord, so I hope that you had a really good time today uh, with what you said you had going on. It looked like a blast, the pictures that you shared with me. Okay, now the the uh, the Eufy by Anchor Home Vac H30 model has this base that is sturdy and weighted on the bottom so that when you put your vacuum into it, uh, it's easy to understand that it's not going to tip over it has a power cable that is included and has wire management on the bottom to manage your wires okay now at a phenomenal 39 percent off the eufy home vac h30 is available today for 110 dollars, and that is 39 percent off of its 180 dollar average retail value as i always say when i'm wrapping up my little spiel about Home vac H30. This truly is a vacuum that we use every day. Like if we need a portable vacuum, this is the one that we go for. We've got some other portable vacuums, but they're just a little bit smaller. And this one, not so bad. So this is kind of like our go-to in the house. Okay. Uh, all right. So that's what's up. All right, let's drink some water, and then let's keep the show going. We started at 5. What What time did we start at? It doesn't matter. We're going to do all our products anyway. Excuse me, but I can check the time. I can check the time we went live. Oh, 48 minutes ago. It says we've been live for 48 minutes. Okay. All right, let's keep it moving here now. We're going to talk about the next product in today's carousel, and this is going to be the Lytra Glow. Now, the Lytra Glow is a really nice little key light that you can add to your computer. You can take the key light off of the included base. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can take the keypad off. Uh, let me say that again, all right? The Lytra Glow, you can remove it from its tripod-like base, and it has a... Um, it's the word that I say all the time. I'm having such a brain fart. Let's breathe some oxygen and then let's take the Lytra Glow from the top, okay? <clears throat> okay, the Lytra Glow is a really great key light that exists today for $60, all right? And it has a tripod screw mount on it so you can actually unscrew it from this little grip that comes with it. Now, the grip is good for your monitor. Uh, it has a little claw on the front that is expandable and a little rubber booty on the bottom to kind of hold it and grip it better into place once it's in place. On the rear of this little thing, you have cable management at the top and bottom. So once you do have your monitor fixed in place, it's easy to adjust it. Now, this will tilt and pan, okay, for you. Like, you have to manually move it, but it will tilt and pan. And like I said, it does unscrew very, very easily and features that tripod mount attachment so that you can put this on, like, any camera. Keep in mind, the Logitech Lytra Glow is not battery operated. It does run off of a USB-C cable uh, that you would need to have, like, your own power source to this, right? 
I love this thing. It has a diffuse the, the diffusion on the front wraps around the top for a bezel-less design that I believe adds a little more light to the room than if it were to be the other way around. This has five warmth settings from a bright blue cold setting to a very warm yellow setting. And each of those settings, there's five of them, have five different brightness intensities. So you can have up to 25 different ways to light this light. And I really like mine. I really see the value in it of being able to like put it on top of uh, on top of like a little um, point and shoot camera. Like I got a point and shoot camera here. I've got a point and shoot camera here and I've got like this little plastic um, bracket that I can mount the, the camera on and then I can mount this light on top of it. And that's like a total game changer. Okay. I'm really excited to try that out uh, when I get the opportunity to. Okay. Now the Logitech Lytra Glow, it is available today for $60. I've got a lot of studio lights, so I do stay pretty bright. I don't need this in front of my computer per se, um, but it's definitely, definitely cool how it has all the different light settings ranging from a bright blue down to a warm yellow. All right, let's talk about the next product that I've got in my carousel here. And this is going to be the Noco Genius 2x2. Now, this is a battery charger. The Noco Genius 2x2 is a battery charger that says is a 4 amp battery charger. This is two this is two 2 amp battery charging banks, okay? The Noco Genius has two 2 amp battery charging banks that are operated by a simple single button operation on both sides. Uh, this will charge 12 volt lithium, 12 volt AGM, 12 volt lead acid batteries. This will also charge six volt batteries and the Noco Genius won't put out a charge until it knows what is connected to it. So you never have to worry about crossed wires, which is really great. This will recondition batteries that are dead. So if the Noco Genius detects that it's getting zero volts from the battery, it will go into a force mode or you can put it into a force mode that will force voltage into a dead battery. And if the Genius can detect even a single volt from that force mode, it will switch over into a reconditioning mode and attempt to recondition that battery. The Noco Genius desulfates lead acid batteries. Your experience may be, your experience may vary, okay, with that particular situation. I've reconditioned batteries. I've also failed to recondition batteries. All right, the Noco Genius comes with these alligator clips that are on a short lead, okay? And the short lead is because you can remove the alligator clips to expose eyelets, and you can connect this short cable to your main battery, whether you're using this in your truck or your car. Or for me, my scooters, if you have a battery that needs to be charged, you can do it with the Noco Genius and you can permanently affix your lead to your battery. And this lead is short because each bank comes with a long extension cable. So in the case of the two by two, you get two sets of alligator. Yo, we got nine viewers right now and things have been so slow on the show. Uh, if we can break 10 viewers, that'd be like so crazy. Tell one more person to come over here and watch the show right now. And let's validate like a double digit number because oh, we went down to eight. We went down to eight. Gosh, Darn it. Gosh darn it. We only need two more people to break 10 viewers. Honestly, we haven't broke a double digit number in a couple of weeks on the show. Okay. So really, really exciting to see that. If you know how to get two more people in here watching, definitely. I encourage that. Okay. And uh, we're down to seven. So we only need three more people to break 10 viewers. I shouldn't have said anything. Uh, but yeah, the Noco Genius 2x2, two two, it does come with a really long extension cable. So when you do consider permanently affixing your alligator clips with the eyelets to your battery, you still have a long cable to reach the Noco Genius. Now, if two 2 amp battery bank doesn't seem like the right move for you, I still highly encourage you to click through the carousel on this one and navigate to the Noco store because they truly have a lot of great products, uh, whether they're jump starters or battery chargers, uh, they're great. They make a lot of great products. 
I left some really great information out about the NoCo Genius. Click through the carousel to learn about all of it today. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> all right. Now, the NoCo Genius 2x2 is available today for $100. $100. All right. Now, let's move on to another product in the carousel. And this is going to be the EF EcoFlow River 2. Here's the box for that. Now, the EF EcoFlow River 2 is a 256-watt LifePo 4 portable power station. It features two grounded, it features a grounded and non-grounded plug on the front. Also, it has two USB-A ports and a USB-C port, as well as an auxiliary power outlet similar to that of the one in your car. This 256 watt hour portable battery can be charged on the back, whether you're plugging it into the wall or whether you're plugging it into the power accessory in your vehicle or into a compatible 110 volt solar panel that you can learn more about by clicking through the carousel and navigating to the EF EcoFlow store. Uh, this thing is tough and it is durable and it is versatile, uh, whether you want to use it for leisure or whether you would like to utilize it in some form of an emergency situation. I love that I've got this small battery. I know that I can like, if I needed some type of emergency light system, I like, this is a really small claim, but like I could plug a nightlight in here and get like 24 hours of light out of this little nightlight that I got. And that's great. If I just needed an emergency, emergency, right? I really, really want to get a solar panel for this so that I can be satisfied that I have a small, complete off-grid solution for electricity. The EF EcoFlow River 2 is available today for $200, and this is 31% off of its $289 average retail value. So definitely, definitely save a little bit of cash today when you add this to your cart. Now, this phenomenal deal has already been 22% claimed today. So if you're looking for a great deal, I definitely believe that this could be one. And if you're looking for more power, then you can definitely find that again by clicking through the carousel, navigating to the EF EcoFlow website uh, to the to the store excuse me they've got a ton of huge options that range from some smaller options like the river 2 <clears throat> all the way up to larger more portable options like the delta max and they also have like options to like fill your entire house uh, up with solar stuff with solar power energy compliant devices you know what I'm saying? Like you can get a battery on the wall in your house is what I'm trying to say with EcoFlow. That's the real deal. Okay. Uh, it's super light. I can hold it with one finger for a few seconds. It's a really, really great durable device. All right. Um, oh, and then, oh, I forgot. I want to talk about the screen on it as well. So there is a little screen on this device. And when we look at that, we see that we currently have 99 hours of power left from our current draw. Our current draw is actually zero watts, so we're not pulling anything from this. Uh, that's why we have such a long battery uh, expectation, and we have a 100% charge currently. So just taking it from the top, hours left, hours remaining of power based on current draw, current charge, and then the two stacked numbers are the triple digit on the top is voltage going into the device and the triple digit number on the bottom is power being pulled out of it. All right, now let's move on to a couple other products in our carousel. We're going to talk about some toddler toys that I've got here. And these are going to be the Prextex dinosaurs. Oh, this is the box for the Volcano House. We're not doing Volcano House right now. We're doing five fun dinosaurs. Uh, eight dinosaurs. Eight pack of plush dinosaurs. Let's pull all these dinosaurs out of here. Mima put everything away while I was gone for the weekend, so they've kind of been a little mixed up. Let's get them sorted in real time on today's show. All right. Let's figure this out. Put the thing here, and then we got biggies and smallies. Small, small, small. Small, big, small, big, small, 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 big, small. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Nine. So this one's big? No. Which one am I missing here? Tyrannosaurus. Oh, blue triceratops. Okay. All right, cool. All right, now that I got that sorted, let's put these big boys away for a minute. <laughs> and let's talk it out. Okay, now we are talking about the Prex Tex plush dinosaur eight-piece kit. Okay, now with the eight-piece eight kit, we do get some fun dinosaurs in this kit. Okay, now we get this one and the Brontosaurus. Okay, also we get the Triceratops and we get the Tyrannosaurus, of course. Uh, we get this one. I don't know all my dinosaurs. Okay, and then we get all these other dinosaurs that are included in the kit. Now, there they are, chilling, okay? They're all available. When you get these, they come in a bag, so you don't get them, like, in a box or in any type of container that allows you to hold them, like, securely. Once you open the bag, you're throwing the bag out, and you just got these boys. That's it. Uh, yeah, so this is the kit. They're really cute and fun little dinosaurs, and this has a five-star rating with just over 2,400 reviews making the Prex Tex Plus Dinosaurs, excuse me, a phenomenal value. Let me drink a little more water. <clears throat> Prex Tex Dinosaurs, uh, three, six, eight piece, comes in a bag for $30 and has just over 2,400 reviews, five-star review. These are really fun. Cute, small, uh, plush, microfiber-like stuffed dinosaurs with black plastic eyes. Okay, so let's move all of our friends here over, okay? And now let's bring in our next set of dinosaur friends. And this is going to be the Prex Tex Dinosaur Volcano House with uh, five included dinosaurs. Now, this is also a product that has over 3,300 reviews with a five-star rating, all right? And these are on sale today for 29% off of their $35 average retail value. You can get these today for $25. All right, when we open this up, we see inside of our dinosaur house that we've got some fun dinosaurs. We got the Brachiosaurus, I guess, and the Stegosaurus. And we got this guy, and we got the Triceratops, and also we have the um, the uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex, right? Okay, now we've got the Volcano House here. It has a zipper front on the door. It has a nice volcano shape. The dinosaurs live in the volcano. They like it there. It's rent-free, and they all chill, and they pretty much get along at all times. Uh, there's not too many fights. It's a perfect match. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all these dinosaurs chilling in this volcano house together. Now, what's also great about the volcano house is that maybe you can see has this little loop on the top and the loop is excellent. Whether you want to hang the dinosaur volcano house somewhere, or it's just the perfect size as well for a toddler's hand to fit into for carrying. All right. Uh, these dinosaurs are a little bit bigger than their smaller counterparts. And they, uh, these dinosaurs are bigger than their smaller counterparts and come a five pack with dinosaur house for $25 today. So let's put all of our friends back into their home. It's all nap time. We'll get them on their backs so they can sleep well. Okay. And, uh, what else I love about the volcano house is that it is kind of textured. Okay. So it's not just like, uh, it's not just a dye job. It is also textured. Right. So you have texturing on the volcano house as well. And uh, it has like a bunch of different colors on it, not just one brown plop. <laughs> OK, the dinosaur five piece house, like I said, is available today for twenty five dollars. Now, let's move on from our dinosaur friends and we're going to talk about some food related product. Uh, we're going to talk about this Supreme Series. Uh, uh, we're going to talk about this Supreme Series. Japanese Damascus steel chef's knife. Okay, so we're gonna get into that right now. <clears throat> Mima used this thing the other day to slice up some uh, pineapples. She loved it. Every time we use it, she's always highly impressed with it. Now, when we open the box of the Japanese Damascus steel knife, uh, we can pull out this little rag. Okay, and this little cleaning cloth has a nice flower embroidered on it. I never learned what type of flower it is. If you know, let me know. 
<clears throat> okay, now here's the knife. Here's the knife. We'll set it aside for just a moment and show you that the inside of the box is felt and foam and also includes a sharpening stone so that you can hone the blade to remain as sharp as you need it to. Okay, now here's the knife itself, a really beautiful Japanese Damascus blade with a unique grinding process that is uh, Master Maison's own, okay? So the Master Maison Supreme Series knife is a really beautiful knife. I love the Damascus on this, okay? I really do. And what else I love about this knife is the solid olive wood handle. It makes it really light and really easy to use. I don't feel like my arm's going to get fatigued when I use this. We use this for making some simple dishes like pico de gallo and pineapple, arguably some pretty wet fruits. But like with tomatoes and stuff, there's nothing worse than a dull knife. And you go to slice your tomato and, and what do you get? What do you get? You get your knife pushing on your tomato and essentially ripping it or even worse, just juicing it and not cutting it at all, not cutting it at all. With the Supreme Series 8-inch Japanese Damascus knife, we don't worry about tomato slicing. This thing does it right. And if it doesn't, I love that it comes with a little sharpening stone so that we can hone that blade uh, and refine it to keep it as sharp as it can be at all times. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, now this knife is usually $135, and today it has a 41% deal, making it 80 bucks. all right? So $80 today for the Master Maison Damascus Steel Supreme Series. The Supreme Series knives in Master Maison are the sharpest knives in the Master Maison series, okay? So they do make other non-Damascus Supreme Series knives. Let me pick this up properly. Uh, they do make some other Damascus series knives and they make some other, let me say that again. They do make other Supreme series Damascus blades and they also make non Damascus Supreme series blades. Okay. So Supreme series for, for um, Supreme series for master Maison is just indicative of their sharpest line of available products. All right. $80 today on the knife. Now let's talk Prex Tex. Did I not take them out from under the desk? No, I didn't. Excuse me. Excuse me for a moment. We got to reach under our little thing of goodies here. I don't have the race cars under here. Where did I put the race cars? Oh, here they are. Excuse me. All right. So here's the Prex Tex two in one cartoon police and race car set. This is the box that it comes in. And these are the uh, these are the toys. Now, the toy itself, these are the remote controls for it. It's the first thing I grabbed out of the box. Let me full stop the show and say to Sean Jones, I don't remember where the race cars. I don't remember where the race cars are at. I don't understand exactly what that phrase means. But the race cars are right here on Clown Live, and you're checking them out with me in real time. Now, these Prex Tex race cars are really for toddlers. So essentially, at their core, like they don't have a lot of like a functionality as far as RC cars are concerned. These things go straight and they turn left. Uh, they go straight and they turn right. Now, this is the race car, and this is the race car driver. We also have the police car, okay? And we have the police car driver as well. So let's put these guys here like this. Now the lights on the front of the cars, they light up. Uh, they light up. The cars also make noises. You asked where are the race cars at? Oh, I don't remember where the race cars are. Oh, I apologize. You know, there's just a little bit of lag. And when I ask that question, I must have been speaking directly to myself. Thank you, Sean Jones, for uh, – thank you, Sean Jones. Yeah, the race cars were just not on the table. That's where they were not. And they were on the desk just out of the frame. <laughs> okay, I got you. Uh, yeah, but these are the cars. You get the race car driver and the policeman. Like I said, they fit in their cars really nice. Their LED lights, on, their LED headlights, the, the um, steering wheels, press buttons that make noises, as well as the police car lights and whatever uh, the turbo intake on the roof of the car, the spoiler, I guess. 
Okay. Uh, and what else is great about the two and one race car set is that they run on different frequencies. So you can run both cars at the same time without interference from the two different remote controls. All right. Now with just under 21,000 reviews, giving this a four and a half star rating. Okay. The Prex Tech's remote control two in one police and race car set is available today for $35. And this is 30% off of its $50 average retail value. Okay. Now let's put these cars back in our box and let's talk about the next product that we've got up for grabs in our carousel. Okay. Oh, we're going to go like this. And yeah, we'll stack this over here for now. And the next product that we are going to take a look at is this mop and bucket. Now, listen, let me go crazy right now about this mop and bucket, okay? Here, we're going to put these up here. Because we still got to talk about this. All right, let's talk about this mop and bucket system, okay? This is the Oceder mop and bucket uh, microfiber mop, okay? Now, here's the thing about the microfiber mop. Mima told me that... See, I could never get this one to unhook. Okay, look. Okay, <laughs> I already distracted myself. Let me catch you up to speed with what I've got going on in my mind. This is the Oceder mop and bucket system, okay? Now, what's great about this mop and bucket system is that it offers you this ring ability. You can ring out the mops. When you buy the Oceder Easy Ring Microfiber Mop System today, you're going to get one microfiber for your mop, and you're going to get four additional microfiber mop heads uh, with this system. Now, I've only got one here. But, you know, whatever. Okay, now the mop heads, not only are they machine washable, but they're easily attachable to the mop head itself by just snapping it into place. And it does have an adjustable length mop handle uh, that you pull out and then tighten. You can tighten it like a shower curtain to hold it in place. Now, here's the thing. Every time I've been doing this demo, I show this like short boy, right? Because I'm down here, right? No, I don't want that. Mima keeps insisting, Mima, my wife, keeps insisting that I can unscrew this middle piece, but I've just, I've never been able to get it to unscrew. Like it's so tight and I've been trying and trying. I think I got to get a wrench and maybe give it a quick loosen, but uh, yeah. So it has three parts that are extendable though, so that you can have a full size mop. And once you get it in the position that you want, you uh, just tighten it and then it stays in place. So, okay. Now looking at the bucket. All right. Here's the bucket. All right. I just want to get it in a good shot. You can see that it has the ring basin in, in the top of it and it has this giant pedal down here. Now, when we press the pedal, it's very firm and very quality feeling. When you press that pedal, it's going to start ringing your mop bucket here, right? See it's spinning. We can stop it here. Yeah. So that's what's up. So it's mop, mop, mop. And then you put your mop in here and then you press your ring button and it's going to ring out your mop for you. Really, really easy. Now I showed this product in a video on a stream a, a few weeks ago. And I'm like, I've got a mop bucket like that. So I went in the house and I found, I went to the back of the house and I found it with our cleaning supplies. And sure enough, it was the same bucket. And I reached out to Justin. I'm like, I've got this mop and bucket system. He's like, I bought mine. I love it. We didn't get sent to us for the show or anything. Actually, just a great thing that we bought. I'm like, we got one too. And then Rome Knows Tech from Amazon Live, he popped in. He's like, I've got one of those. Those things are awesome. And then the other day I went to my friend's house and he had one as well. So it seems like a bunch of people are already enjoying the Oceder Easy Ring Microfiber Mop System. All right. And you can too for 13% off of its average retail value being $65, $56.63 today. So definitely, definitely save. Definitely you have the ability to save a few additional dollars when adding this to your cart today. Thank you, Sean Jones, for letting me know where those race cars were. Uh, for not letting me know. You didn't know where they were, but thanks for clearing up the confusion I had. <clears throat> All right. Now, let's keep it moving like we do. We're going to talk about the Swan Home DVR security system now. Now, this is a really, really fantastic product. You know, everything today, let me tell you something, okay? Maybe I have an antiquated 
perhaps I have an antiquated ideology about what I'm going to speak on next, but I'm not certain that I do. I'm not certain that I do. We are going to take a look at the home, at the Swan security system, okay? Now, what might be my antiquated thoughts? This thing has an app, but you don't need the app to use it. This is not app-based. It's not wireless technology. You're just getting a good old boy, you know what I'm saying, down, you know, I'm trying to like say something that I don't even mean. Uh, I'm just trying to be funny. But let me rephrase without the humor and tell you this, okay? The Swan security system is amazing. It is a small DVR, okay, that has four 1080p cameras. And those cameras have lights on them so that you can see in the nighttime. And they are hardlined, okay? And they have super long cables. So you can pretty much, like for me, it was easy to run them essentially wherever I needed to go. And this is ultra budget friendly, okay? If you're looking for maximum coverage uh, with with four cameras, then you can get this Swan Home Security DVR se security system. Now, let me repeat myself, okay, and try to make some sense of everything that I'm saying. You do get four wired 1080p color security cameras that do have LEDs on them to help you see things at night, okay? Um, and they are BNC connections. Now, on the back of the DVR, you have the ability to plug in a microphone so you can communicate. Now, I don't know if you can communicate through these specific speakers, but um, maybe you can. Let me see. Speak, use voice commands via Google Assistant. No, 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 no. Okay, no, I don't care about that. All right, uh, yeah, you can use some apps to interact with this, but they are not required. You can do the whole thing from the DVR itself. It has some USB ports on the back so that you can plug in a little mouse if you need to use that. Uh, I use my on-screen display in order to... Um, I use my on-screen display to like click buttons on my keyboard because it's not like a lot of typing stuff. So it's a little bit slow, but it's still really good. Now, over here, it's far away, but this is where I keep my security system at all times. I've got a VGA monitor hooked up to my DVR because it has a VGA port on the back, and this is a small monitor that I have easily accessible to me. Uh, it also features an HDMI port on the back as well, so if you want to plug it into an HDMI port, you can do that as well. With four and a half stars and just over 400 reviews, the Swan Home DVR security system, this is the 2K series. Excuse me. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. Pardon me again. I had some people that came to around my property. I live in like a public kind of area. I live in a trailer park. So the houses, they're close together and also... Um, there's like no fences and in front of my house is like a parking lot, right? So uh, we had some unsavory fellows take a visit and cause some unwanted damage to some of our property and we didn't have the camera set up. And then it happened again. And we were like, okay, we've got to do something to be better here, you know? So this is why we got the Swan DVD, uh, DVR, one terabyte hard drive on that, okay, security system. And I've been extremely happy with it. Now, I'm going to keep talking about the security system to give you guys a little bit more information about it. And then we're going to move on. And uh, that is this. The 1080p cameras offer the ability of thermal sensing. So if it picks up any heat, the cameras can be triggered to auto record. They also pick up motion movement. So not just thermal, but also motion. That is extremely helpful. Now, I just want to be straightforward because I've been using this one for a few years. In my personal experience, while the thermal imaging does work and the motion does work in regard to setting off a trigger to start automatically recording. It's just, it's not good enough. It's not good enough in my opinion. So what I've done is I've set my camera up in order to always be recording, always recording 24 seven, like a dash cam. And then when it fills up the hard drive, it just moves on to the next block of data and just starts from the, from scratch. You know what I'm saying? Uh, re rewriting data over that terabyte. And with that option enabled, I'm getting like basically two and a half weeks, I believe, maybe like, uh, maybe like 16 days, maybe of 
all four cameras constantly recording and being have and having all of that data accessible to me. So uh, I'm really satisfied with that. And I do believe that if you're looking for a camera system that is uh, budget friendly, 250 bucks for this four camera system is not too bad. And it, it does have some expandability because you can plug that microphone into it and get a speaker out there and like be talking to people. I don't have that stuff set up on mine. <clears throat> okay, now let's take a look at this next product, which is the Fantic Nex L1 Pro. Now, the Fantic Nex L1 Pro is a really nice cordless screwdriver that is available today for $60. And this is 20%, 25% off of its average, basically $80 average retail value. So get yours today for $60. Here it is in the case. Okay, shaboom. We got some bits here where my thumb is moving, a USB-C cable for charging, some extensions for the bits, and uh, here's the piece of resistance itself, the next L1 Pro. Now, what I love about this thing is it's really smooth, rounded design. I love that it has variable speed on the trigger. Now, what is also great about the next l1 pro is that it features six different torque settings that are able to be cycled through by pressing this button on the top of the device and it changes the torque setting on this screen so we just press that button to cycle through our torque settings and the button underneath uh lets us know whether we're pulling our screw out or driving in I love this little little cordless screwdriver. I think it comes in a couple of different fun colors. I like the gray. Seems like very work related. Oh, and the and the and the shark bite that has been included in this device is really really powerful. So here's the uh, here's the chuck in in a neutral state, I guess. And when we put our bit in, the bit goes in magnetically. Let's pull that up. The bit goes in magnetically, and then look look here. Okay. Uh, when we push our bit in, we can see that our chuck recesses, and now we're guaranteed that our bit is locked into place very well. And when we want to remove it, it's a simple operation of pulling the chuck up and pulling the bit out. Okay, super simple and easy operation and powerful. The bit I love also that at the chuck, it has the LED lights to illuminate the surface of the area that you're working on. All right, for $60 today, that's 25% off of its $80 average retail value. The Fantic cordless screwdriver can be yours. And it has a four and a half star rating with just over 400 reviews. All right, now what do we got here? Oh, we only got a couple things left. <clears throat> All right, the next product that I have on hand here to talk about is going to be this pluggable 250 times zoom digital microscope. Oh, Rome Nose Tech, what's up, man? I was just talking about you. I was letting my audience know that you are also a person uh, like me who bought the Oceder mop. Okay, we bought the Oceder mop, and you really like it, Rome. I, I remember you were saying that uh, you've got one and uh that you like it you know and i was trying to figure out uh with my mop uh i think i've over tightened it in the middle i think i've over tightened my mop in the middle room because um when i when i unscrew my when i unscrew my thing i can get it to extend on the bottom but then right in the middle here between the red and the extended gray there's this little gray boy here that's the middle piece and I'm just, I can't get it to loosen up. I can't get it to loosen up. I might have to use maybe two things of force and try to uh, loosen it a little bit because I can't seem to get it with my hand. Uh, yeah, and the microscope is super cool. I love the digital microscope. I bought that microscope for um, looking at plants. That's what I bought it for. We were doing some plant growing and we wanted to make sure that we weren't getting unwanted infestations of bugs in our plants and we couldn't see those infestations if we had them with our bare eyes so what i ended up getting was this pluggable 250 times zoom digital microscope and uh it's great because you did the same thing on yours over tightening it yeah i'm gonna have to look into that and figure mine out 
Uh, okay, the pluggable microscope is great because like I'm repeating, it has a 250 time uh, zoom, but it is not an adjustable zoom. It is fixed at 250 times and it features this gray uh, band that allows you to adjust the focus manually, which really gives you a great layer of depth to focus on exactly what you want. Now, some prime examples of using the microscope could be for me, I was looking at plants, so horticulture based applications. Some people might use this for electronics and be able to look at soldering joints up close or smaller electronic components. You can use this to look at coins. You can use this to look at gems. Uh, if you want to look at it up close, the pluggable 250 times zoom microscope definitely is got that kind of option for you. Um, now, another great feature about the pluggable microscope is that it has LEDs that are wrapped around the lens. And so you can adjust that with this dial here on the top. And on the very, very top of the device, you can see this camera icon. That is just a really soft touch that you can press and it will take a snapshot of whatever you're looking at. And you can set up the folder that you want to save that snapshot to. 4,000 likes. Oh, wow. That's absolutely incredible. I know that Jacob said he had a goal of trying to reach 10,000. So let's see um, if he has the ability to reach 5,000. Okay. Thank you so much for letting me know, June, about the 4,000 likes. You know, the, uh, the, um, the validation that the metrics bring is very humbling. You know what I'm saying? And I'm so appreciative that I got you guys out there trying to help us grow. You know, uh, it's really, really important to everybody on the Dragon Blogger team and here at Shopping Dragons as well. All right. The pluggable is available for 40 bucks today and it's 33% off of its $60 average retail value. It comes with a nice little plastic pad here that you can look at your specimen on but it's not permanently affixed, okay? You can take this off. It's just affixed with a suction cup and the goose, the gooseneck actually unscrews from the base and then, there we go. The, uh, the gooseneck actually unscrews from the holder of the pluggable and now you have a nice tripod mount so you can put this on a more solid surface if you want, but I love that pluggable just offers you the ability to have a surface that is easily suction cupable to really great. They give you everything you need instead of making you buy another part, which I think is really helpful. All right. Now that is $40. Like I said, now I got this product highlighted in my carousel and I actually grabbed the wrong product today. And I'm like, oh, I can just grab this while we're live. So I'm going to do that right now. Kaboom. Here we are. All right. Now, this is going to be the pluggable USB 3.0 or USB-C to dual HDMI out adapter. And that title of this device is exactly what it is. It's exactly what it does. You have a USB. 3.0 or USB-C adapter included to dual HDMI out on this adapter. Now, with HDMI port 1, you're going to get up to 4K resolution at 30 hertz, okay? And with the second HDMI adapter, you can achieve a resolution of 1080p at 60 hertz. So this is a really great little device if you want to push out like dual 1080p at 60 hertz, I think is pretty reasonable in a really small, very small package. It just fits in the palm of my hand. This is, there's not much more to say about this. A very sleek little black plastic package. It's got little rubber booties on the bottom of it to hold it in place on a nice steady flat surface and uh, is available for $60 today and is 26% off of its $80 price point. Now, usually there are cents coming after those numbers and they allow me to roll up, but this is $59 exactly. So we're going to bring it down that dollar. We're going to bring it down that dollar. It is $59 today and that's 26% off of its $80 average retail value. The pluggable USB 3.0 
uh, or USB-C to dual HDMI adapter is great to plug into your laptop. It's good to plug into your desktop uh, if you need that expandability. This is definitely something that is worth considering. It's got a four and a half star rating today with, uh, with 469 reviews. All right. Now that wraps up all of our on-hand physical products today. We've got one more product that I would like to share with you. And this is going to be the mini chainsaw. Okay. So let's grab this video. Let's get this video set up. Evans, hey, what's up? Thanks for joining the show today. I'm so glad to see you here. We are just getting ready to talk about one of our last products in our carousel. And uh, while this video plays, I'm actually going to excuse myself for just a moment, okay? So let's highlight the two-in-one cordless pull saw, and let's get this video set up to watch. And I'll be back in just a moment. All right, excellent. The two-in-one cordless pole saw is available today for $153, and this is 10% off of its $170 average retail value. Boom, we did it, yo. We did all of our products today. Now, uh, let's just chill a little bit. We got six people watching. What is going on with you, okay? What's happening with you? How are you doing? And uh, what are you buying on Amazon right now? 
what is going on in your purchase history? Let me know what's going on, what you're buying. Uh, the last thing that I got from Amazon was, oh gosh, the last thing I got from Amazon would be, I think, the Comalgo projector. I think the last thing that I got on Amazon was the Comalgo projector. Let me grab it real quick. Uh, this is like the last thing that I got on Amazon, the Comalgo 1080p projector. Uh, we turned our product table off, but I love that Comalgo projector because you can uh, uh, you can put a 1080p signal into it. Now it will downplay it, like it will like um, like um, bring it down to a 720p resolution while it's being projected. But I like that it allows you to. Uh, still hook up like a 1080p resolution to it if you wanted to all right i want to cover the two hour show it looks like we've been live for an hour and 36 minutes here and i don't think that there's going to be much of a i mean that's going to be the most accurate time Five forty nine, so ten two at ten two, and it's seven twenty five. Man, um, dude, we got like another twenty five minutes of show to fill. Let's let's just sit down at today's show. The app's been causing me kind of like what's up vibes all day. So let's grab our chair. Let's take a seat. And uh, yeah, let's sit down. Oh, there we go. Let's bring our table down manually. Our Rad Love Desk Electric Height Adjustable Table that is also available on Amazon. Uh, let me mute my mic for a quick second. All right, not too bad. Now let's make a quick adjustment with our camera here. And uh, let's go down. Let's go down. Boom. There we go. This is how we can look for the last little bit of the show. All right, let's see. All right, cool. Yo, here we are just chilling, man. It is Tuesday. I got my chat way up here. Oh, nobody's chatting. Okay, that's cool. What is going on? What is the last thing that you bought? Okay, on Amazon. What are you buying? What is interesting to you? What are you gearing up for this spring and summer? You know, I've been trying to figure out what is the next big thing that I would like to get with um, with the idea of spring and summer being around. What is the next thing that I would like to purchase? Oh, come on. <clears throat> 4,100 likes. Wow, that is absolutely amazing. We're getting so close to uh, 4,500. But yeah, we're chilling now for the rest of today's show. If you guys got some products that you want to talk about, we can talk about them. If not, I got some products that I would love to talk about. Well, maybe not products that I want to talk about, but considerations of products in the future. And here's one. Here's a product that I'd like to talk about that currently you can't even buy it. You can't even buy it currently. And it is by, who is it by? Let me see. I don't know if it's Anchor or a competitor. Yeah, dude. So, well, we talk about Anchor products, so I guess we can show this on the show. It shouldn't be a big deal. 
So this is a product that we can't buy right now on Amazon. And I don't even think that you can buy this product unless you are making a donation to the Kickstarter. So let's take a quick look at this. Dude, look at this. This is the Anchor Everfrost, okay? Now, the Everfrost is going to come in a 33, 44, and 55 liter capacity. Look at this thing, dude. It is a cooler that keeps all your drinks cold. It's, I believe, solar power panel on the top and a removable battery. Look at this. It's got a 299 watt hour battery cools food up to 42 hours at four degrees Celsius. So you're not freezing it, but you're not having it too warm, not having it too warm. Um, a hundred watt solar panel input and uh, 30 minutes to get cool. Isn't that crazy? Dual zone temperature. Uh, this thing seems like absolute insanity. I want to get one of these so bad but they are a couple hundred dollars. And I just, I really would love to get something like this for the camper. But I, I really would love to get something like the Anchor Everfrost for the camper. Uh, 42 hours with the 33 liter and then 27 hours of time with the 53 liter. So you get less cooling time with the larger container. Uh, yeah, and then you can charge it with a 100-watt solar panel. It's got the nice wheels on it. This thing just looks like absolutely baller. You can recharge it in 3.6 hours with 100-watt solar, four hours in the wall. You can get it in four hours in a car socket and six hours on USB-C. Like, if you're watching this right now, do you not see how crazy cool this is? Precise cooling and practical space with no ice required. That is absolute insanity to me so you can have freezer fridge freezer freezer fridge fridge absolutely just so great um 38 cans up to 62 cans this thing is this thing is phenomenal and it's available you got to make like a donation to it on the kickstarter in order to even get in in order to even get in you can charge your iphone 9 you can charge your iphone 14 excuse me, 19 times with the 299 watt hour battery that's included. Uh, so really cool. Charge your drone, charge your phone, you know, and uh, okay, buy now. When we click buy now, it takes us to like a Kickstarter page. So they've got $2.2 million of a $13,000 goal. They crushed it. They crushed that goal. And uh, they got 2,300 to almost 2,400 backers. Yeah, this these things look absolutely insane. Isn't that nice, June? I love this thing. And uh, I fell in love with it quickly when I first learned about it, which was just recently. It just started. They just started talking about these like within the last maybe like in my mind, I just learned about them in like the last two weeks, like tops. And so – Man, you know, and then there's something to be said, though, about the Anchor Freezer Fridge because the Everfrost, because it's like, well, in my in my current camping life, I've never needed to take like a cooler with me to a, to a space, right, uh, where I need like I can always just run back to the cooler. You know what I'm saying? So I'm so I'm I'm wondering. I'm wondering, uh, well, I wonder what would be better option for me. Would a better option for me be, should I get this? Should I consider, like, let's say I, let's say I was going to get this and, and get the Kickstarter price. I think I got to get in at like 600 bucks. Pledge $500, get the 33 liter. Pledge 550, get the 40 liter, the 43 liter. Thirty-three liter. Oh, and then oh, you got eight hundred, you get the solar panel with it. Where do you get the fifty-three liter? I just see a lot of 33 liters on this Kickstarter, 33 and 43 liters. Hey, what's up? Who's there, Thor? So 
So get a 33 liter. Oh, here's the 53 liter. Super early bird special, 40% off. Pledge $569. Okay. And that's 40% off. <laughs> that's big. That's a big get, right? So for for so for five hundred and sixty nine dollars, for five. Oh, sorry, uh, I lost my spot. Here it is. So for five hundred and sixty nine dollars, here we can look at this screen together. Uh, for five hundred and sixty nine dollars, right here. Okay, you can get the fifty three liter capacity. And this doesn't even come with a solar panel. 33 liter with the 100 watt solar panel. I'm looking for the 53 liter with the solar panel. And I don't see that one. The only 53 liter one that I see is for $569. $569. That's 40% off June. 40% off Um that's expensive. That's expensive, but the technology seems very cool. Like a fridge, a fridge on wheels with a built-in battery. So what I'm saying is, do I want that or am I just enticed by a flashy product? Because for $569, I could probably get like a more powerful battery from Anchor and then just plug in my regular bar fridge. Like I got a, like a standard mini, well, it's a little bit bigger than this. It's maybe half the size of my body, but you know, like a standard bar fridge, like a college room dorm fridge. Right. And then what? And then just power that off of a, uh, off of a bigger battery. Hey, you buy a Jackery. Yeah. Jackery. They make good batteries as well. Jackery makes good batteries. Blue Eddy makes Great batteries, also uh, Anchor, like we're talking about the Everfrost. Anchor makes some really good portable batteries. And um, there's a few other great companies like EF EcoFlow we talk about often. I've got an EF EcoFlow River 2 portable battery. That is an excellent, excellent option. Um, but th these are, well, excellent options in themselves to own. Uh, I still wonder whether it's a Jackery brand or any other brand, what makes more sense, right? Do I pay $600 for a, do I pay $600 for a 53 liter freezer that is good for two days? Or do I spend that money on a bigger battery that will power even more things, including my camper fridge? I think I kind of talking about it out loud with you guys kind of lean toward the latter, you know, where I would get like a larger battery and, and, and have it power everything. But man, that Everfrost dude, I am obsessed with it. I've been thinking about it nonstop since I learned about it. And uh, yeah, I wish we could watch, watch these videos together. But there are other powered coolers that exist. You know, they just need a solar panel. I mean, the Everfrost has an external solar panel. So I wonder how cool it would be. I mean, do you want your solar panel powered fridge in the direct sunlight being powered? Seems like maybe counterproductive. But it don't matter because it's a cooler, right? It's made to be brought outside and in the sun. Yeah, I can't stop thinking about this thing. I would really want, maybe that's something that I'd like to work toward. Maybe having like a portable, a portable cold option. Imagine if you like built your own. I don't even know how you would do that. Imagine if you just had like a, I don't know, like a really heavy option, like a bar fridge. I wonder how it keeps cool as well, right? I doubt that there's a refrigerant inside of the cooler, you know? I couldn't say. All right, well, we got about 10 minutes left on today's show, and I'm wondering still, like, in the chat, nobody's had the opportunity. Um, there's also videos on windmill power, too. Yeah, windmill power, not a bad option, but I don't think that's, like, what I would want to use for camping um, or for this concept that we're talking here about the Everfrost, like, 
I wouldn't want to use wind power to charge my fridge, you know? But if we were more stationary, that's totally a great option. I wonder if they make like uh, small little wind turbines that I can bring with me and, and put them outside the camper. That would be really fascinating if that existed. But with no wind, no power, right? So I don't know. A lot of places that I take the camper, <clears throat> pardon me, a lot of places that I take the camper generally have um, like a power hookup for me. So I've, I've, I'm always like, well, you know, if I don't get this large battery, then I can just supplement power on the grid when I go camping. But that's not what I want. That's not what I want. I want to figure out like, you know, oftentimes, oftentimes I don't even want to go. I, so oftentimes, hey, I thought you were, oh, hi, I thought you were talking home power. Oh, yeah, for home power, windmill option is absolutely something worth investigating. You can get one on a thin pole that just goes high up. Like I live here, right, Thor, if you remember in this trailer park home. So, yeah, that would be pretty sweet. I wish that I could run solar out of this place. I think it would be really, really beneficial to me. But then also I think like for home solar, I think it could be a benefit. But then there is this buy-in, right? And I don't have that buy-in. So I'm kind of feeling like I'm forced to be on this grid every month, right? So I feel like not trapped, but not like I'm choosing to financially prioritize solar in the home. Now, what I was originally talking about was solar camping. And uh, that's what I think. Well, usually... If I like, if I want to go somewhere for the weekend, like if I want to go, the cheapest that I can do camping is show up somewhere on Friday afternoon and stay Friday night and Saturday night and leave on Sunday. If I want to do a two day camping, like the minimum I'm getting in there is like $125, right? So every, t and that's the minimum at a local camping spot, not considering the $20 in gas that it's going to take me to pull there. And when you break it all down, I don't know. Maybe fuel economy is not the right uh, thing to consider, but the cost of the premium camping site with the included power is always something that I have to, you know, consider. And so, and so it's like, if I had, I feel like as though if I, I know that, say I spent like 1500 bucks on an amazing generator, right? Uh, there's, and there's more than 10 or 15 times in my life that I'm going to go camping. You know what I'm saying? So like I would still have to pay to go camping at the site. But now if I could rely on solar and, and, and a battery backup, then I could get the site for cheaper. Right? So let's say for simple math, it's a hundred dollars to camp for the weekend for two days. And I spend, and if you, and it's $25, uh, it's $50. If you don't get a powered site, you get 50% discount. It's just a mocked up, made up number for simple mathematics. I'm saying if I spent $1,500 then on, on a campsite, on a generator, that was what I needed. And, th and that was the right cost. Then I've got like a solid 21 camps. I basically would have to do 21 camps at that particular spot. I'm really kind of crunching some quantifying numbers here that don't make a lot of sense. But if I only went to that one campsite where it was a hundred dollars for two days and I only had to pay $50 for two days now because I'm not getting the power, that's what I'm saying. It would be half, it would be 15 camps. So half of that would be like seven and a half camps. And then, uh, and then I got to make up the other, the other bit, right? So like 21, 20, 21 camps, let's say 25 camps that turns out to be like a lot of camping, but when you make the investment in the solar, you're not paying the hundred dollars for every camp. You're only paying $50 for the camp, you know, it's, uh, it's something that I don't struggle with. I just want to figure out what is my best option and then do that. I look at like EcoFlow, Delta Max and like big, big, um, big uh, power stations like that because 
I feel like it would be better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. And another thing that I'm neglecting to say before I read your comment from one minute ago, um, what about all the other versatile options that I could have with this great power charging station? Just as we always say on the show, if I had it, it would be good in some type of emergency situation. My power has gone off four times at least since January 1st, 2023. And uh, and those four times probably have accumulated to well over 24 hours without power consistently. My power just popped right before today's show. It popped two and a half hours ago, basically. All right, Thor, one minute ago you said, when I was in Taiwan, the West Coast was lined with the larger wind power they used a lot over there. Yeah, I bet. Uh, I don't think that wind is exactly what I need for portability, but for stationary stuff like at home, uh, I don't see a problem with it. If, if it's if it's within your budget realm, you know, why would you not? Why would you not pay for a little windmill? Uh, and you know what? I don't know. I don't know a lot about solar, but this seems like a logical thing to say. When would solar be great? Uh, excuse me, when would solar be great on a sunny day? When would when could windmill power be great uh, on overcast days where it's raining and windy and a, and a crappy day, right? So that's really interesting. Overcast snowstorm days could be spinning your windmill. So it's just kind of like a nice little, I guess, like thinking about it like that, seems like it would be a nice little backup to your solar, but not a complete replacement. And we got like uh, they littered our our area with um, wind turbines. There's all these windmills that are all over uh, the the county now, harvesting wind. And uh, I don't know. I feel like we're still paying for them, and we never got a kickback from it yet. Well, we only got about three minutes left in today's show. I've really been enjoying talking to you all about the the uh, the products that are on the table behind me. Also, I've been really excited to talk to you about that Kickstarter for, for Anchor. I don't think it was a problem really to talk about another great Anchor product. Unfortunately, we can't buy this product on Amazon, but I can almost get like, I don't know. Maybe I can't guarantee it, but I feel confident that like once this product gets released publicly, for sure you're going to be able to buy this Anchor product on Amazon. So just a heads up on that one. You know what I mean? It's really, really exciting. But yeah, for 600 bucks for the largest one that they have, I would I would probably be better just to go buy a regular power a power station and just charge my fridge on that power station. That's what I think. That's what I think. <clears throat> All right. We are going to get ready to say goodbye to you here now. I just want to thank everybody for joining me here on Clown Live. Thor, thank you for popping out today. And June, of course, thank you for coming. Evans, a half an hour ago, thank you for coming in and saying hello. Rome Knows Tech and Jacob, as well as Jason T. Shields. I appreciate you, everybody. Jennifer Lude, I'm sorry that you've been having problems with your accounts, but I am always grateful that you come back and greet me here. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, Nate, thanks for helping me with the show. Travel Diva and Mrs. Dragon Blogger, thank you as well for greeting me at the top of today's show. We did kind of have that little that little issue there. Yeah, we got nine people. Man, if we could just get one more person watching me say goodbye, we could break 10 viewers today. That would be absolute insanity. Oh, we went down to seven because I'm saying goodbye. I got it and I get it. It's okay. Yo, I have been Dragon. I am Dragon Blaker. All right. You can call me Blake. And this has been Clown Live, an Amazon Live interactive shopping experience presented to you by Shopping Dragons. I just want to thank every day, Justin, for giving me the opportunity to stream here on this platform. And uh, that's it. I'm going to be back here tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hopefully the app won't be kicking me out or ending my stream early. And um, that's it. That's really it. So thank you, everybody, for joining me on this episode of Clown Live. I shall return tomorrow in about 22 hours from now, hopefully. And I will see you then. So much clown love. Whoop, whoop. And we'll see you tomorrow. All right. Bye, everybody. <laughs>